you remember the first time you heard a piece of API gear? Uh, very, very vividly, yeah. Um, it was actually in this studio, Rack Studios, where um, I did an album with um, Elliot Randall producing uh, in Studio 2. And it's one of their two APIs. Uh, and I think it's sort of 1973-1974. Full, rounded, warm still very crispy and detailed um, and it, it, it sort of doesn't need much work you know you plug a mic into an API console you bring the fader up and you can start mixing really as you're as you're tracking so um, which I found out later when we moved the mixing into a different studio well, same studio, different room, and I lost all my bottom end. <laughs> this is like, oh, thanks. <laughs> now I need to do a lot of work on this console. It's, it's the little bits of compression on, on, on the API compressors that I like. I, I tend to stay away from severe slamming, unless it's required, but um, it's generally just a little, a little tickle like a DB or something, and, and it just brings all out it brings out all the all the attack and kick drums and, and fattens up snares and stuff. Well, on, on, on a day-to-day -day basis, API, you know, I've got my lunchbox which just sits next to me at all times. It's always on. It's always in the chain. So, you know, the two compressors, the two 550B, four band EQs, they're always in use. Um, either on a drum bus or just across the mix bus or when I'm mastering, that box comes with me all the time. So it's 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 on it's on everything I work on. Hey there, I'm Wes Maybe, producer engineer from London, UK. API rocks and API works.